let's discuss accounting procedures for a specific type of NPO, this time healthcare providers. So healthcare providers, no, uh, it includes hospitals, clinics, uh, medical groups, practices, individual professional organizations, individual practitioners, emergency care, etc. And so generally, yung healthcare providers natin, uh, they provide by the term itself, uh, sila yung nagko-provide ng mga healthcare uh, services. No? So one very unusual element of a healthcare uh, providers is the manner of payment for services. Significant portion kasi of the fees uh, for these healthcare providers okay, is paid by a third party no, such as PhilHealth and other insurance companies. Ayan. So unlike other uh, organizations or non-profit organizations, uh, yung ating mga healthcare providers or uh, healthcare organizations uh, usually or mostly significant amount of their Okay, revenue or services no? uh, rendered to their clients or to the patients is actually paid by mga insurance companies. Uh, example dyan is yung PhilHealth. So, what are the funds ba in a healthcare provider? Meron tayong general or uh, donor restricted. Okay, so a general fund uh, an unrestricted fund used to account for the day-to-day -day operation of the healthcare provider. So assets, no, nandyan sa general fund, including assets uh, limited by governing bodies for specific use. Remember, as what we have discussed in the previous uh, video, okay, kahit na yung uh, particular asset is being uh, uh, restricted no by the governing bodies or yung mga people inside the organization okay, kahit na restricted nila yon uh, as to its use still uh, it would uh, be classified as an unrestricted uh, net asset classification kasi nga it can only be part of the restricted asset classification kapag yung restriction uh, is imposed no by people or donors outside the organization. Yeah. Meron din tayong mga agency funds. So, yung mga um, resources okay, na tin-transfer from uh, the providers to the hospitals or healthcare organizations okay, uh, to be transferred to third person. So, naging agent lang yung ating mga healthcare providers. Okay? Uh, ito yung fees no collected by healthcare provider okay, as agent for uh, physicians syempre, who have uh, private practice patients coming to the hospital okay, the fees collected uh, would then be remitted to the physician net of rent and administrative costs so yung mga private hospitals so meron sila diyang ano meron sila diyang um, mga doctors or mga physicians na merong private uh, practice ng mga patients no so na uh, meron sila diyang uh, particular room no or area in the hospital where they can uh, check their regular patients ayan so yung bayad ng mga pasyente nila okay, to these physicians or doctors it will be collected by the hospital so, but effectively yung mga bayad na yun or yung mga fees from those practice or private practice patients Although, yung nagko-collect is yung mga hospital or yung hospital, okay, still, the hospital will have to remit those uh, collected fees okay, from private practice patients to those uh, to the physicians okay, uh, or doctors. Ayan. And yung magiging uh, income no, or share ng uh, hospital doon would be that of the related to rent and administrative costs. So technically, naging ano lang, naging agent lang yung ating mga healthcare providers, okay? Uh, with regards to those funds being collected. So it would be uh, both recognized as an asset and a liability. The next one is yung properties used for uh, general purposes, okay? Uh, next is 
the donor restricted funds so alam na natin yun if uh, it may be no temporarily or permanently restricted resources ayan now uh, again yung mga donor restricted funds natin okay, it may be temporary or permanent okay so for temporarily restricted funds uh, donor restricted funds uh, it could be temporarily restricted for a specific purpose or uh, it may be a term endowment fund and it could be a plant no, replacement and expansion fund. So, alam na natin uh, kung ano yung mga uses no, or ano yung mga nandito sa mga funds na to. Okay? O, at kailan sila uh, marireclassify okay? to, from the temporarily restricted net asset classification to uh, unrestricted net asset classification. And of course, uh, isa pang donor restricted fund is yung mga permanently restricted fund. Yung kanyang principal ay uh, held or kept intact or kept in perpetuity. Okay? So as long as the organization exists, uh, that fund uh, being in a permanently restricted net asset classification okay, shall stay there. Ayan. Revenues, gains, uh, losses, okay? and expenses. So ano-ano ba yung mga... Uh, treatment no ng mga to or ano ba yung composition ng mga to in a NPO that is a healthcare organization for operating revenues we have patient service revenue premium fees revenue and other operating revenue now, discuss natin yung patient service revenue so this is the major no revenue account for a hospital syempre kasi nga uh, it exists no yung mga hospital exists for providing healthcare services to its uh, patients so basically yung mga patient service revenue it will really ano uh, it will form part no a major revenue account okay, in a hospital so example jan is yung mga routine services room and board general nursing and hospital healthcare okay, mga other nursing services such as yung mga operating recovery and delivery rooms as well as professional services physician care lab work pharmacy okay, blood bank radiology dialysis etc so, itong mga to, okay, ito yung usually or ito yung majority sa services okay, na pinoprovide ng uh, mga healthcare providers. Kaya, ito din yung uh, major revenue source no or account ng uh, healthcare providers. Now, ano ba yung charity care services? Okay, so yung mga charity care services, uh, it is uh, the services, no? provided by the healthcare organization to uh, specific patients for free. Ayan. Uh, pinoprovide nila yon sa mga patients who qualify under a hospital's charity care policy. So this is excluded from gross and net revenue kasi uh, it is a service. Right? It is supposed to be a revenue. Ayan. Pero dahil ano siya, uh, it is provided for free. Ayan nga charity care. So this is excluded from gross and net revenue. Okay? And is not even reported as a receivable on the financial statements. Okay. So provided, okay, magre-recognize lang sila or uh, gawin lang nila yung services, cost of services to be part of the charity care services, provided na yung patient no, na-meet nila yung policy okay, or qualifications sa charity care policy ng hospitals. Now, ano-ano ba yung i-deduct natin sa patient service revenue? Okay, una, we have courtesy allowance or yung staff discounts. So, ito yung mga special discounts available only to the NPOs, employees, no? Pag may mga empleyado sila okay, na nagkasakit at kailangan ng service ng uh, the same NPO or healthcare uh, organization, okay? Uh, including not just the employees but their immediate family members in the form of reduction in the price of patient services. So, meron tayong mga discount or CNPO uh, for uh, healthcare services, no? Meron siyang mga discounts na pinoprovide sa, uh, gaya, ganun, sa mga employees at sa kanyang uh, immediate family members okay, for services rendered to them. And, uh, yun, uh, deduct siya, or it is a deduction from the revenue account. Employee discounts are accounted for as Direct reduction to the patient service revenue. The other deduction from uh, patient service revenue is yung mga contractual adjustment. 
So these are discounts arranged with the third party payors such as PhilHealth, MaxiCare, etc. That frequent, frequently have arrangement for reimbursement at less than established rates. So, syempre, uh, yung ating mga healthcare providers or healthcare organizations, okay, when they provide service, uh, meron silang mga specific rates for that. Meron silang cost for the services, uh, particular services, no? or specific services na pinoprovide sa kanilang mga patients. Ayan. So, ayun, itong mga contractual adjustments, syempre, uh, as what we have uh, discussed kanina, that uh, isa sa mga unusual no element ng healthcare organizations or providers is that uh, a very big or a major portion of their services or cost of their services is being paid by uh, healthcare uh, by PhilHealth no mga mga insurance companies ayan so pwede man kasi na si PhilHealth or yung mga insurance companies iba yung rates nila sa rate na um dinetermine ng hospital. So, kung merong mga ano, kung merong mga differences, uh, for example, mas maliit yung rate no uh, ni insurance company, okay? okay such as ni PhilHealth, tapos uh, mas maliit kesa sa um, mga rates no na na determine, predetermined by the entity or by the healthcare organization then uh, it would have to be considered as a contractual adjustment, which is a deduction from the revenue account. Ayan. Now, another type of revenue, okay, premium fee revenue, this is also referred to as subscriber fees or capitation fee. Ayan. A revenue charged by a hospital for any necessary patient services for a specific fee. Another one is yung resident service revenue. No, ito yung mga major revenue account for a nursing home okay, or continuing care a retirement community. Ayan, so ito yung mga may mga facilities okay, na nagpo-provide ng home or continuing care uh, for retirement no, sa kanilang mga clients or patients. Uh, ito yung uh, major revenue account nila, the resident service revenue. So, other operating revenue, okay? So, these are revenues for services other than healthcare provided to patients. So, these are also revenues for sale or services to persons other than the patients. And so, if it is ano, a resource received for services other than the healthcare provided uh, to patients or uh, yung mga sales or services to persons other than the patients, then... Uh, it will be it will be considered as other operating revenues. Example is uh, itong mga revenue from educational programs, no? Kapag merong nursing school yung uh, healthcare provider, and revenue from specific purpose contribution, revenue from sale of medical and pharmacy supplies to employees or physicians, and revenue from sale of coffee area meals. While non-operating revenues, ito yung revenues, incidental lang siya, incidental to providing healthcare services from events beyond the control of the entity. So hence, not related directly to the entity's uh, principal operation. Okay? So not related, and incidental lang siya sa operation no, ng uh, healthcare uh, providers. Ano ba yung mga nan, example ng mga non-operating revenue? Uh, it could be unrestricted and donor-restricted pledges, gifts, and grants. Ayan, oh, it is not related to the uh, services being provided by healthcare organizations. Diba? Unrestricted income from endowment funds, uh, investments nila, maturing term endowment funds, income and gains from investments, and gains on sale of uh, mga hospital properties. So those are the incidental uh, revenues no, being uh, recognized or received by the healthcare providers. Okay? Not directly related to the principal operation. Now, discuss natin yung mga sample transactions no, and the corresponding journal entry in a healthcare uh, organization. So, gross uh, charges okay, to patients used for or are for okay, 
daily patient service, other nursing services, professional services, and uh, other non-medical uh, services. So, remember that itong tatlong to, okay, part sa ng uh, patient service revenue. Kaya, okay, it will be recognized or recorded as a credit to patient service revenue. Okay. Uh, the total of these three is 6 million. While other non-medical services, it forms part to uh, other operating services. Ayan, unrestricted siya. For 240,000. And a credit to accounts receivable for 6,240,000. Now, there are estimates okay, for contractual adjustments. So, ito yung a difference ng uh, cost ng service na, na dinetermine ng uh, healthcare provider at saka ng uh, insurance or ng mga insurance company or uh, let's say ng PhilHealth. Ayan. That's 456,000. That's a reduction from the revenue, no? And a doubtful account. So, meron din tayong doubtful accounts for 26,400. So, the entry would be debit ka ng doubtful accounts expense for the 24, uh, 26,400. Okay? And contractual adjustments debit din uh, for 456,000. And a corresponding credit to allowance for doubtful uh, and third-party contractual adjustments. A total of 482,400. Now, an analysis of accounts receivable, okay, shows cash collected, um, may collected cash na 4560 from the accounts receivable. Okay, contractual adjustment with third party uh, payors na 240,000 and another doubtful account of 108,000. Now, dito, okay, yung accounts receivable natin na 409, uh, 4,908,000, okay, uh, part of which is na collect na the 4,560,000. Uh, that's why there's a credit to cash for 4,560,000. Okay? Now, itong ating contractual adjustments with third-party payors, it is no longer an estimate. So, it is it has been determined uh, to be a final, no? Uh, part of the final amount of the contractual adjustments with third-party payors. Kaya, yung related allowance na, uh, debit na natin siya including the doubtful accounts. Okay? So, kumbaga, para siyang write-off no? sa ating accounts receivable. Ayan. So, a, a reduction from the total accounts receivable of 4,908,000, okay? uh, ito yung kanyang breakdown. Okay? Part of that has been collected as cash, part of which is uh, a write-off no? sa ating accounts receivable. Okay? So, and sa ating... Um, Contractual adjustments okay, with third-party payers. Debit po siyang tatlo. Ah, dalawa. Okay, uh, isang cash at saka dalawang allowance total. And again, a corresponding credit to accounts receivable. Kaya. So, number four, no, STUH Hospital established that 240,000 pesos of the services were met. Okay? Uh, hospital criteria for charity care. So, meron tayong charity care na uh, nirecognize kasi nga na-meet niya yung mga qualifications provided by the hospital's charity care policy. Ayan. Amounting to 240,000. Kaya, uh, i-deduct natin siya from our accounts receivable okay? and uh, debit to the charity services. Ayan. Next is itong ano, Pfizer Pharmaceutical Company he donated 2,400 pesos of medicals or medicines to the hospital. Such contributions constitute a major ongoing activity of the hospital if not donated. So these medicines would have to be purchased. And dahil it would have to be purchased if it is not donated, uh, debit tayo ng uh, inventories, credit to other operating revenues. Other operating revenues, uh, unrestricted contributions. Now, we have unrestricted earnings from long-term investment, okay, totaled to 648,000. So, debit cash, dahil uh, it is from uh, an income from a long-term investment, kaya uh, part siya ng ating non-operating revenue. Okay, debit cash, credit non-operating revenue, unrestricted investment yeah, for 648,000. 
No, ito naman yung statement of uh, activities no ng healthcare provider. Okay? So, uh, nakita makikita natin dito yung kanyang mga revenues, expenses and losses. Revenues gains no and other support. Okay? Naka-classify pa rin siya. Uh, if that revenue ba okay, affects unrestricted the temporarily restricted or the permanently restricted net asset classification and uh, ating expenses okay? so yung ating expenses uh, makakaapekto lang siya sa ating uh, unrestricted net asset classification ayan and nakikita din natin dito yung increase or decreases in net asset okay and the net asset at the beginning of the year and then the net asset at the end of the year ito na siya The total of this one should equal to the total na makikita natin sa ating statement of financial position under the net asset section. So, ito yung ating statement of financial position. Okay? So, meron siyang net asset, no? Um, unrestricted, okay? temporarily restricted or permanently restricted uh, net asset classes. So, basically, okay? yung ating uh, mga financial position or yung financial statements ng healthcare providers is somehow no uh, the same with other uh, non-profit organizations. Ayan. Okay, so meron din siyang statement of activities. No? Uh, makikita doon yung changes ng net assets kasi yung mga revenues and expenses uh, it affects no the net asset of the organization. Ayan. Tapos, yung ating statement of financial position, meron din siyang uh, classification for the net asset portion. Instead of owner's equity, ang makikita mo sa statement of financial position nila is yung changes ng net asset or yung net asset classified into three. Okay? Pa rin, uh, unrestricted, temporarily restricted, or permanently restricted net asset classes. Ayan. So next is, uh, how about the Voluntary Health and Welfare Organization or the VHWO? Ano-ano ba yung mga basic accounting procedures for this type of uh, NPO? But uh, defi to, def to define no, the Voluntary Health and Welfare Organization, uh, these are okay, uh, non-profit entities that derive their revenues primarily from donations okay, from the general public to be uh, used for purposes connected with health, welfare, or community services. Ayan. So they promote humanitarian services such as uh, public health clinics, okay, homeless shelters, and the like. Example ng mga VHWO or Voluntary Health and Welfare Organizations would be mga Ibon Foundation, Philippine Medical Association and Philippine Business for Social Progress. Yeah, yung fund ng VWHO, ano ano? Okay, meron din siyang lima. Ayan. My current fund siya for unrestricted, meron din for restricted. Okay, uh, plant fund, endowment fund, and agency fund. Ayan. Yung current unrestricted, siyempre, nasa unrestricted net asset classification yan yung fund na yon yung current restricted naman okay it's either temporarily restricted or permanently restricted plant fund okay, uh, it could be unrestricted yung plant fund na designated by the board for uh, plant use okay or exchange okay or retirement no of uh, plant assets of the organization naka unrestricted yan siya uh, however meron ding mga temporary restricted yung uh, plant fund provided by the donor or yung mga resources provided by the donors uh, particularly for the purchase or uh, the retirement of the plant asset okay, of the VHWO meron ding sa ano uh, permanently restricted plant fund yeah, for example uh, meron kang land so unless nabenta yung land okay uh, magiging ano yun siya magiging uh, permanently restricted siya unless nabenta siya Ayan. for the endowment fund uh, syempre uh, that those uh, endowment fund provided by ano yan siya uh, donors no or resource providers kaya it's either temporarily restricted okay, or uh, permanently restricted 
yung agency fund naman natin, it is not part of our net asset okay, or the net asset, any net asset designation. Kasi nga, yung agency fund natin, uh, it will be considered as a liability. Ayan. Now, uh, two major categories okay, for inflows of resources in a VHWO. Okay, uh, public support received from voluntary donors who received no direct personal benefit from the organization's usual programs in exchange for their contributions. Support from the public, no, resources received from the public na walang, ano, walang direct or those public or those donors okay, will not receive direct or personal benefit from whatever the organization is uh, providing. Yan. So, ito yung mga contributions, no? special event supports, legacies and bequests, okay? and proceeds, proceeds from uh, mga fundraisers. Now, the other type of uh, inflow or category either for the inflow of resources is yung for their revenues. Remember, dalawa, uh, public support or revenue. Okay, yun yung sources, major cat, uh, categories no, ng source or ng inflow of resources into the VHWO. So, ito yung mga fees from financial services and other exchange activities. Okay, uh, it may include membership dues revenue, program service fees, or sale of publication and supplies. Well, because, uh, uh, for expenses, no, because VHWOs exist to render services or to conduct programs, uh, their expenses will not show typical expenses, yeah, such as salaries or rent, okay, but will show the cost of each program or service the organization provides. Yeah. So, it is not, necessar not necessarily naman na wala tayong makikita ang salaries and rent na mga expenses sa statement of activities no, ng VHWO. It's just that usually yung makikita is not those typical uh, expenses. But yung cost, syempre, dahil nagpo-provide sila ng service o nag-render ng service okay, uh, to conduct programs, okay, kaya yung makikita natin usually is yung mga cost of that particular service or program that the organization provide. So, yung expenses natin, it could be a program services or supporting services. Expenses incurred in providing the organization social service activities. So, yun yung ating program services. Uh, it may be for research, no? public education, professional education, at saka yung mga community services nila. It will uh, belong to the program service type of the expense in a VHWO. Okay, for supporting services naman as an expense, as a, as a uh, group of expenses, uh, supporting, dahil supporting siya, kaya it includes no, yung mga administrative expenses and fundraising costs. Yung managerial and uh, general uh, expenses and yung costs for fundraising. So, ito yung mga statement of, or ito yung statement of financial position. Stample, statement of financial position of a VHWO. No? Uh, meron pa rin siyang asset, liabilities, and then uh, in lieu of the owner's equity account, meron tayong net asset classified into three. Ayan. So, sa ating expenses, no? uh, meron tayong, isa ito sa actually sa, kumbaga uniqueness no or difference ng uh, VHWO or Voluntary Health and Welfare Organizations from the statement of activities or financial statements of other uh, non-profit organizations. Kasi dahil very crucial yung mga expenses uh, na na-incur ng uh, Voluntary Health and Welfare Organizations. Okay? So meron siyang separate statement. That's the statement of functional expenses. Hindi natin makikita dito again sa statement of functional expenses yung mga usual expense accounts na mga salaries, rent, utilities. Instead, makikita natin yung expenses dito by function. Okay? If those expenses is related to program services, then nasa program services siya. It's either uh, yung mga community service or yung mga recreation programs. Ayan. And kapag hindi naman siya sa program services, then uh, nasa supporting services siya. Cost of fundraising and management and general. 
and you have total expenses and losses. Okay, total mo siya. Pero, uh, sometimes, no, or there are times na yung mga voluntary health and welfare organization, in addition to the statement of functional expenses, meron silang breakdown, no? Breakdown ng mga expenses na makikita sa statement of functional expenses. So, dito mo na makikita uh, yung breakdown, okay? Uh, if uh, it is uh, provided no additionally by the organization. Uh, for example, yung ating community service na 10,800, naka-breakdown siya. Okay? So, part of the 10,800 is meron tayong salaries for 4,000, meron tayong supplies no, na 2,300, and meron din tayong depreciation okay, na part ng community service or related sa community services amounting to 4,500. The total of which is 10,800. Meron ding breakdown for uh, the expenses for rec- recreation program okay, na 11,000. Merong salaries na 6,000, may 2,000 supplies, and merong depreciation na 3,000. Ayan. So, another, meron tayong statement of activities, no? Uh, dito natin makikita yung mga revenues, okay? Again, uh, expenses. Ayan. So, this is an example, no, of a statement of activities. No? Makikita natin dito yung changes of unrestricted net asset. Okay. mga revenues and gains, and meron din mga expenses and losses. Okay. Anyway, ito lang, a sample lang naman ito, sample ng statement of activities ng uh, voluntary health and welfare organizations. Okay. So, may mga voluntary health and welfare organizations din, of course, mer- yung statement of activities din and changes in net asset is uh, yung revenues and expenses nila, makikita mo doon on how those revenues affect the three asset classification. Ayan. And lastly, yung statement of cash flows, the same with other um, voluntary health and welfare organizations. So, merong mga net cash provided by operating, investing, and uh, financing activities. Ayan. So, that's it. That's it. That's the end no, of our discussion for uh, not-for-profit organization. The basic accounting procedures, the type of financial statements, or what are the financial statements provided by each class of uh, non-profit organizations. Uh, we also discussed basic journal and uh, basic journal entries related to a particular transactions and uh, classifications of net asset, okay? reclassification of net asset, and. So I hope no you learn something from the entire series of the video lecture in non-profit organizations. Thank you. Peace.